religious violence and wars that shook early modern Europe not only mirrored the struggle between different options for the spiritual life, but also reflected many other conflicts through always in a religious key. This ranged from social and economic tensions in the countryside and in the cities to geostrategic movements made by great continental powers. That is, these so-called religious reforms reached such levels of virulence because much more earthly matters were also mixed with such issues as the salvation of the soul. In the revolt that swept across the German countryside and towns in 1524, spiritual and social demands merged, at least in manifestos like the Twelve Articles, first published by the peasants of Swabia. When the rebellion started to spread, Luther angrily criticized the rebels and legitimized the nobility in violent quashing them. On the other hand, Thomas Munzer, a radical reformer, believed that the time had come for the poor to touch the heavens. The peasants were defeated, however, and Luther and other reformers came to the conclusion that the word of God could not be left in just anyone's hand. These events make a turning point in the Protestant Reformation. In France, the Calvinists, known as Huguenots, quickly found more and more followers among the educated urban classes and the elites in the southwest and south of the kingdom. The country had been rocked by violence and civil wars since the mid 16th century, and the Saint Bartholomew's Day's massacre of Protestants in Paris in 1572 was a particularly bloodthirsty episode. In 1593, Henry III of Navarre converted to Catholicism to be crowned as Henry IV of France. In 1598, in order to reduce tensions, he used the Edict of Nantes, which established protective measures and authorized Protestant worship. Almost a century later, Louis XIV, one king, one faith, one law revoked the edict, causing a mass exodus of Protestants, impoverishing the kingdom and provoking an uprising of the Camisards in Sivens. Since the 1520s, iconoclasm, or the destruction of religious images, had been a frequent phenomenon in Protestant areas of countries, like Switzerland, the Holy Roman Empire, England, Scotland and France. But it was in Flanders and Brabant, and especially the city of Antwerp, then financial capital of the continent, where the bitter storm of storm of images broke out in 1566. These systematic attacks on carvings, paintings and stained glass windows inserted by Calvinist preachers was the prelude to the revolt against monarchy of Philip II of Spain, an uprising which eventually led to the secession of the seven northern provinces. Amid the violence, each religion counted its martyrs. In England, John Fox's Book of Martyrs focused on the Protestant victims of the brief restoration of Catholicism during the reign of Mary Tudor. In Rome, following the guidelines of the Council of Trent, Cesare Baronio, father of hagiography as a historical critical genre, purged and updated the catalogue of Catholic martyrs. But some reacted in other ways. When the Calvinists of Geneva sentenced Michel Servet to be burned at the stake, the Protestant theologian and humanist Sebastian Castellón wrote that to kill a man is not to defend an idea, but to kill a man. <laughs> 